Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. So we finished the knowledge part, right, in, in the last episode. So today what I'm going to do, we're going to talk more about the portal side. So today what I'm going to do uh, is that to enable the portal. I mean, you would have seen how to enable the portal in one of the previous episodes I've, I've done, right? And even I've shown how to create a site. But that's all good. Are we going to do the same again because I'm using the playground? And I will also show you how to enable, create a partner portal, right? Which is exactly what I'm going to do in the last episode, uh, not last episode. I mean, a few episodes ago, I didn't create a partner portal. I created a simple self-service portal, right? But today, I want to create a partner portal, enable partner accounts and the user. Uh, that's something I'm going to do, okay? So the first thing first, if you're starting for the first time uh, using... Uh, trailer or obviously right if you are learning for your certification you might be using the it's better to use the playground um, gives better option and a lot of functionality you can get to try right or you can create your own dev work if you like but uh, which all works for you um, so what I'll do um, I'll go here to this uh, the gecko icon I go to setup so if you're starting this for the first time so you need to enable the digital setting so, so if I go to digital experience, right, um, right now you can see all the options here, like all side pages setting. But if, if you haven't enabled it, you will only see two things, right? Digital experience and the settings. That's pretty much it. Okay. Um, so what I'll do, I will uh, normally go to setting and there's an option called enable. Um, so you enable the setting. So if it's disabled, just enable it and then save it. You get all the options here. Pretty simple, right? Um, and then um, I'm going to tick this option. Allow using standard external profile for self-registration. I'll tell you why, right? Normally what happens, right? Um, if you're going to, it, it's not a good practice though in real life. The, because what happens is, right? Uh, if you're going to use a partner profile or um uh, you know other profile customer profile uh, then it's good to clone that profile rather than using the standard one so if you don't do that when you try to create an enable uh, you know the partner customer and if you try to use that standard profile it will complain it will give you an error so to bypass that you need to tick this option um, I'll show you what I meant when I reach to that stage right so for now just tick this um, and also one more thing I wanted to do, which I forgot to do. Um, you have number of partner roles. You can have more than <clears throat> one if you like. So default number of roles created when you add a partner account. So what I'll do, I will do here two. Uh, by default, it created one. So I just wanted to create a two. Uh, customer roles and two partner roles. So let's save that. Okay. So now... Um, once we have done, we go to all side. I mean, this this will be pretty straightforward, right? If you're following along, you would have, if, if you uh, remember, I did something uh, similar in the past. So I just go to new. Um, <clears throat> ah, it's going to take time. Interesting. Okay, choose a template, right? Sometimes, you know, depending upon the speed of an internet, right? Uh, so I will look for something called a Partner Central. This is exactly what I want. Get started. So I'll give a name. Uh, let's say Partner Profile. Right, I'll just give Partner. I don't know. Partner Portal. Sorry. Just make it one name okay and do it it will take some time so while it does right let's go back and do the other stuff okay so the main intention for me um, is here in this case uh, is to create a uh, enable the partner uh, account so what I'll do uh, I'll go here and I'll go to this tic tac toe go to accounts okay and I'll you know, if you go to the recent review, most likely you won't see anything, so which is fine. So go to the all accounts. Uh, you get this account. So I'll pick this account. You can pick an account, but just for the sake of demo. Um, so if I go here under actions, uh, so, all right, you have something called enable as a partner. Now, 
you will not see this option if you don't enable the digital experience so if you try to do this first without ena enabling a digital experience you will not see this option right i've tried that in the past like, hmm, what happened so that's one of the reasons why okay you won't see it because you haven't enabled the digital experience <clears throat> excuse me so i will enable this as a partner and i enable this partner okay now that's great now i got a contact so what i wanted to do I wanted to uh, enable these contacts, <clears throat> excuse me, um, as enabled as a um, partner user, not the customer user. So I wanted to make this as a partner user. So what I'll do, I will enable the partner user. And I mean, we were gonna, the reason why you wanted to do that, because then you can log in as this user to the portal, right? So that's important um so i have this gold partner user which is great um uh, so i will just use my email address All right uh, this is just a dummy email i use but that's fine okay so j rogers <clears throat> uh james bond All right whatever okay okay the partner owner has no role that's interesting. Now you might think, hmm, that's interesting. Why I'm seeing this? Because, so if I go back to my profile, right? If I go to my profile, right? And if I go to my user options, right? Um, you might see that I have no roles assigned to it. So that's one of the reasons why it's complained. Um, so you see, I got no role. So I'll change it. And what I'll do, I will change it to CFO, right? That makes no difference to me anyways. Um, so I uh, remember one thing, um, you know, you might have a persona-based uh, uh, sharing model in place, persona-based uh, role in place. So, you know, based on the business requirement, you need to configure it. Just don't go blindly and say, hey, I wanted to put it at CEO or CFO. I'm just doing it because it, it because it's a demo, right? I don't have any persona set up, so. But in your case, it might be different, right? Uh, so I'm just just a word of caution, right? Just because I'm doing it doesn't mean that you need to set it up as a role. See if I. Okay. Uh, hopefully, now what I'll do. Okay. So I go to the account. Uh, no. Okay, so I'll go, okay, account. And uh, I'll go this. Go to the contact, Jack Rogers. And I'll go here and I'll say enable partner user. All right, and uh, just change the email. Um, all right, I'll just change the bloody email, and I will do the username James Bond. Yeah, and I will see. I don't want the CRM uh, data for this user. Okay, because we are just a partner user, so um, no. And I also want to do generate new password. That's automatically set up, right? So the user has been created, which is fantastic. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, um, I'll go to this place. Remember, uh, you might have seen this before. Uh, it might look familiar to you because if you've been following along, as I said, I've demonstrated this before, how to create a basic site. Uh, this is a builder where you do most of the job, right? This is for all of other options you're not going to talk about this at this stage right only thing we're going to do at this stage is the builder and administration um so if i go to builder right so i can see i mean if you wanted to take a tour you can i just don't like it so um i haven't published my website so i mean this is still not published so whenever you create it right just remember that you know if you don't publish it you can't your user won't be able to see it. So if I go here and I go to administration 
and um, go to members right um, so I wanted to add that uh, partner so I would just say gold partner user remember that's the one I did, I did right so I just because this is the user I've created the gold partner user um, so and then I do save because the user has the gold partner uh, so so yeah I mean so what we have done today so we created a uh, we enabled the partner account we enabled the partner user we created a very basic site and we added the members right and you can also use the permission set but we don't want to get into that at this stage right just for now um, you know just select the profile you just have a gold partner user and this is administrator um, yeah so that's um, all I wanted to talk about in this episode in the next episode we're gonna enhance this more and we're gonna talk about more options right that being said I hope you guys have an amazing Tuesday adios